Tonight, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice is investigating a convicted killer serving life in prison. He's accused of writing a book and trying to profit from it on Amazon, which is against prison rules. Bart Whitaker arranged to have his Sugarland family killed in 2003. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil is live outside Crime Stoppers with more. Sophia. Well, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice says it is aware of the book, and the Inspector General is currently investigating to see if Whitaker violated any policies. In 2003, investigators initially thought an intruder shot and killed 51-year-old Patricia Whitaker and her 19-year-old son Kevin at their Sugarland home. The father was also injured, and so was the oldest son, Thomas Bart Whitaker. But the investigation would later unveil that Bart Whitaker hired a hitman to kill his family so he could get the inheritance money. He was scheduled to be executed last year, but was commuted by the governor in a very rare move, and is now doing a life sentence. Which is why Andy Kahn, the director of Victim Service and advocacy with Crime Stoppers was stunned when he found this on the internet Tuesday morning. Not only did he publish a book, it's being sold on I, what everyone pretty much would agree, a very reputable site called Amazon. Khan says Bart Whitaker's book is murderabilia, a term he coined to describe items high-profile killers and rapists may sell in order to make a profit. We've always been on the perspective, you know, that you really shouldn't be able to murder people and profit from, from your criminal conduct. A question Khan has is, how does someone in prison who has no access to the internet or computer write more than 200 pages for a book about the day-to-day -day life in prison? How did he get this material from point A to point B. I mean, there's a multitude of ways. I mean, people can come in and visit. U.S. mail is usually the primary conduit anyways. And that's part of a bigger topic. Under the First Amendment, inmates can write whatever they want, but the conversation changes whenever they try to make money off of it. And the TDCJ says offenders are not allowed to make money off of their status as offenders. Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.